first semester in the group, things were pretty crazy, and there were many uh, loud personalities. But the best explanation that could be provided is the fact that JoJo was a lot of that calmness. Um, so while she was gone, a bit of crazy took over. <laughs> it was still a lot of fun, but I couldn't have imagined meeting the person that I met during the first practice back in winter break. The second I walked into the room, I was greeted by JoJo, calmly sitting there, and knew her for all about 15 seconds, but I felt a strangely calming presence. Throughout the rest of the semester, I sat and essentially watched as everyone basked in her glow. <laughs> I can go on and on about that calming aura of hers. Um, oh. Trying to get it, but there's really so much more to talk about. Also, I can go on and on about how JoJo is the embodiment of sexy. And Intimidating is the last adjective I've used, but for those who don't know her, the confidence with which she carries herself and her ability to really understand everyone she works with can definitely seem intimidating. After about 15 minutes with her, her warmth is immediately felt, and someone can be proud that they were able to get to know her in any way. It may seem a bit extreme, but I consider it a worthy bucket list goal for most people to get to know Joanna Nix in any way. <laughs> it's the amalgamation of confidence, friendliness, acceptance, and respect that make JoJo constantly the most venerable person in any given room. Another facet of JoJo is her ability to just have fun. JoJo is constantly the life of the party, but in the absolute classiest way. <laughs> Some people can be described as the life of the party because they get trashed and they're really loud. But JoJo just wants to dance. That's the way I was yeah. to dancing like the plane. I found myself absolutely sucked in by JoJo's constant enthusiasm and acceptance of my terrible dancing. <laughs> no matter what the room is like, JoJo's just going to keep on dancing, whether it's at Clark amongst the horror that is the counterpoints. JoJo is someone who definitely loves to see people succeed and does the most she can to make that happen. There were so many times in practice we would exchange glances and she'd be the only one who understood what I was thinking. <laughs> and while my brain of humor may be lost on some people, it was never lost on JoJo, especially as we spent many difficult, rewarding, and bond-striking hours writing semester show scripts. <laughs> the lessons JoJo has taught me personally are numerous and will probably serve as formative guidelines for how I handle myself for the rest of my life. Even when she's not there, I find myself thinking, what would JoJo think about this? <laughs> she has made me more open-minded and more adventurous, just like being herself and granting me the honor of being her friend. Jojo, I see it in a unique light that I don't think I've been able to see many people in throughout my life, save some specific family members. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically family, not just to me, but to every member of Company B, whether it's at the caring group mom or the awesome older sister we never had. You make everyone around you a better person and there are enough people in the world. The last thing I probably have time for, this thing is pretty long already, is your seemingly infinite sense of worldliness. The second I was told you were in Morocco, I already respected your sense of adventure, but your passion for just exploring the world is unmatched. You're always down to go to a karaoke bar and turn dull to me and come to trivia night at Watch City. And you always do it with a smile because you just love to experience all you can in the world. Someone who travels like you do and lives her life to the fullest deserves a travel bag <laughs> for the occasion from her family. And we hope you'll be thinking of us as you leave your mark everywhere in the world and experience life to the fullest. Woo! <laughs> Basically, to sum it up. <laughs> We've all made a friend for life, someone we can always call on when we need help, and someone we can always strive to be like. I know I can't speak for everyone, but I can't wait to hear your name on the news when you change the world, of course. Getting that wedding invite when you find a guy that can keep up with you and join you there. <laughs> <laughs> and so, this may be the last time we sing with you for a while, but it's definitely not the end of our lives.